is in the middle of a development explosion. There are high rises climbing as far as the eye can see and a light rail project being built through its CBD. But some locals are worried about what's coming down to allow the new buildings to go up. And Parramatta's iconic rugby league shop is in the firing line. Olivia Feng reports. Go Para, great win. As Eels fans celebrate this week's victory, there's fear they may lose one of their most beloved stores. Peter Wynn's score in the heart of Parramatta could face the wrecking ball if a multi-storey hotel, office and retail development proposal gets the go-ahead from council. Just got to face reality, whatever, whatever comes. You know, sending up some tough decisions for me to make in the near future. Parramatta Eels legend Peter Wynn opened the store more than 30 years ago. It's been a mecca for rugby league fans ever since. It'd be such a loss to the city of Parramatta and um, yeah, you can always come in here and, and just feel at home. and enjoy the rugby league field. The development proposal is still in its early days and it will need to be officially approved by the New South Wales Department of Planning. If it does go ahead, it will be one of many developments that's dramatically changing the face of Parramatta's landscape and skyline. Just last week, demolition began on the 200-year-old Royal Oak Hotel to make way for the Parramatta light rail. We need to build a city here for the people, the two million people that live in Western Sydney. And that means new investment, new jobs and new cultural opportunities. But residents say that's come at the expense of the city's culture and heritage. I think it's far too um, quickly redeveloping Parramatta. And Parramatta has lost its character. And uh, it's, I think it's a sad day that um, the history of Parramatta has been forgotten and uh, overshadowed by all this high-rise development. Building for the future, but at what cost? Lydia Feng, ABC News, Sydney.